Hello. Yeah. Is my water? Yes. Yeah. Your Not your water. Guys, we will do a brief one days if the Sunday guys would like to lead off. We will be brief, we'll do it behind if uh, you can come around. So, uh, the uh, Sunday writers want to lead us off before it's Sunday. I think, Rob? Um, yeah, it's the, the ca character of your guys tonight, to me, it, it may be a little bit desperate with five minutes to go, um, but what they dug out there was seemed incredible. Absolutely. Um, there's a lot to talk about. You could, you could talk about football tonight, you could talk, but just and purely about showing real heart, showing real passion, showing real desire. So that's just brilliant. I don't say that Newcastle didn't show it, I showed it as well. Unbelievable, they gave, they gave us a, a, a proper game. Um, but I think in our situation, with um, all the circumstances around, some people probably expected us to, to show a bit of nerves. Boys didn't. Um, it was just a difficult game for different reasons. Um, of course, our um, um, playing three days ago, the most intense, uh, the running-wise, the, 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 we had the highest number of, of kilometers in, in Barcelona. So obviously, and then three days later, you come to Newcastle, and this is, I said a couple of times, obviously the opposite of a friendly game tonight. And the style of play of Newcastle is not really to defend with tactical um, moves. It's just a long ball, Ron Don is fighting for it and you wait for a decision of the ref, foul or no foul, when it's no foul you have to carry on, when it's a foul it's a free kick, so uh, in either direction. So that means you cannot do it with a proper formation, you have to do it with legs, with really with runnings and with runs and stuff like that, makes it even more intense. That's why it makes so much sense to keep the ball. That's what we tried a lot of time. We did it really well in a lot of moments. We, I, I thought really so like we, I like the body language always when we pass the ball around. So, I'm, but around the first goal, it was not that good because you, you have to keep the ball, but not for keeping it for for creating a, a situation or a gap or a, a passing option. And that moment, all of a sudden, because the intention wasn't right, we were a bit under pressure. We played a not so cool pass to to Ali. Long ball, Sadio jumps on the ball, ball stays hot, coming back, pop up, 1-1. One, one. Um, I liked really the, the reaction of the boys, like um, I didn't see any any major concerns apart from we can see the goal, which is not cool. Um, wonderful, our goals were wonderful, eh? first goal, Pete Kravitz and Greg and James, our analysts, say what they do around set piece is unbelievable. Midva, um, they, it's really nice to see having Virgil van Dijk completely free in the box is probably pretty rare. Uh, wonderful routine, and then we scored a second one. Nice cross again, <laughs> Trent Alexander, Arnold, and um, Mo is there. But then they scored their goal, and then it's um, not too long to go anymore. We have to sub Mo. Not cool. We have fresh players on the bench. Try to have impact, and they had wonderful, wonderful free kick from Shaq and sensational header from. They were going to win the game and um, are qualified for the league final, which is brilliant. Okay, we'll go Sam then. Oli, Sam, you went capable. Oh, yeah. Another critical goal from the Pivots. <laughs> Yeah. They're crucial in the course of the season. Oh yes, oh yes, so crucial. Well, what can I say? It's, it's just brilliant. It's like a fairy tale. I'm, you can say whatever you want about me. I don't play often enough. Shakiri not often enough, and then I make this decision. But it's great, just that they do it. I love it, and um, so that was really a big moment. What's the second goal? Eh? Of the or did he score a third one? He scored three. He scored against Everton, didn't he? Yeah, Everton. I know. And was Oh. Yeah, it was very, but not as important as tonight, but still very, very good goal, that's true. OK, Oli, and then we'll go to Steve Bates. Yeah, and when it, when it went to 2-2, two -two and then Newcastle were looking confident, the crowd was getting loud, Salah was carried off, did it feel like everything was going wrong? Did it feel like it was over? No. Always when the ref 
questions. I, I would have been happy after when, when it's still 2-2 two, two and I see the, the, the injury time. In that moment, we were 3-2 up and I saw the injury time. It was actually the, the, the other way around. It was eight minutes. <laughs> wow. Um, so we had a lot of time to play, obviously, and a lot of time to defend. No. I said it now to a couple of colleagues. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm not native, so I cannot maybe say it better. But I accepted long ago that is that we, we do everything, absolutely everything. The boys throw whatever they have on the pitch. So that means, will we be champion or not? It's destiny. It's like this because we do everything. We cannot do more. We can, can you get more than 94 points? Can you get more than all stuff? You, you, not really. So. Boys tried everything, even in the draws when we had it, they tried everything to win the game. So it's all good and we have to, and I, that's exactly what I was in the situation. We tried to have influence still. So it was clear we didn't have for a while set pieces. That's true. I mean, we are pretty good in set pieces, we didn't have them. So in this moment we had one and we used it. That's, um, I, I really think it's, um, it was deserved. So yes, they were a bit, um, they came a bit up and that after 2-2 two, two, it's normal. Huh? It's normal. They had no game three days ago we had a game it's absolutely normal but I really loved the way how calm the boys still were and I said the boy the, the calmness is always interrupted by a long ball on Rondon and then it's chaos ball coming down blah, 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 and you have to collect it or not and then you try to go on the other side but how many quick restarts did we have with Robo on the left side it's just incredible when, when, when Ali had the ball we threw the ball there nobody reacted as quick as Robo and Ali and Wow, what a race going there for the game that was again from him. So it's just the boys showed in each second that they really want to win it. We knew what we had to do. And the boys did it. And in a very difficult game, credit to Newcastle. That was wow. If any people would doubt or whatever that mad teams, they don't play for anything anymore, that maybe um, are a bit halfway on the beach already, that was today, or the, really the opposite. I don't, is there any tr any history between Newcastle and Liverpool, or, or which I don't know about, because atmosphere was like in a there's something that happened something in the past and um, all that stuff. So, but the boys again were ready to face it and ready to deal with it, and that's brilliant. Because yeah, of Monday's Monday, potentially the last one. Let's just give an update on Mo Salah and what. what um, he got obviously the hip of the, what I heard, the hip of the goalie on his head, um, and then it was on the ground, and the dog had to um, had to make a decision. Um, on the pitch, off the pitch, and the decision was off the pitch. We accepted, that, of course. And then he, when he came in, he was sitting in the dressing room and um, and watching the game. I don't know. He watched the game. The television was still on, so he was then fine. But of course, we have to wait. We have to wait. But um, he got a proper knock, obviously, in that situation. Would you would you rate it doubtful for Tuesday? I cannot write your headlines. I said what I have to say. <laughs> for me, no, no, he will not be ready on Wednesday. For the final week of the season, he will not be ready for Tuesday. Well, we play on Tuesday, yes. Even worse, he will not be ready for Tuesday, and the rest we will see. Okay, guys, we'll do a brief one behind you. <laughs> <laughs>